So I need to go to an actual shopping addict support group because this is getting out of hand, like so out of hand. Hi guys, it's Chloe, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm gonna to be filming a huge drugstore, beauty products, makeup kind of haul for you today because I went in to Superdrug and Boots on three separate occasions and I spent 200 pounds. I spent 200 freaking pounds in drugstores how did this happen? I don't even know. The first time I was shopping with Molly and we just kind of went into Superdrug, didn't have anything in mind that we wanted to look at. We probably spent more time queuing than we did looking at like makeup and stuff and I somehow still spent £75. On what? What did I buy? What did I buy? So basically, I'm filming this so I can go through and see what I've actually spent my money on. But there are some fab products in here. I've tried a few of them already. Some of them are like brand new things to the drugstore, so I thought I'd show you what is in at the moment. So I'm going to start off with Superdrug because I got most of my items from Superdrug, so I'm going to start with there. And I have two different Superdrug receipts. Way too much money was spent. I hate myself. So I'm just going to pull things out at random. Most of these are makeup items, some of them aren't. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you whatever is in here. Okay, so the first thing that I picked up is this Skinny Tan Jewel Tanning Mitt. So I don't actually use the brand Skinny Tan, I use Bondi Sands Ultra Dark, which is amazing. I need to fake tan right after this video actually, because I'm looking like a loaf of tiger bread. But the Skinny Tan Mitts are absolutely amazing. They're so soft and they apply the product amazingly. So this was only $5.99, which I think is pretty good for a tanning mitt. And yeah, I just love them. So if you're looking for one, Skinny Tan. So next up I have the Makeup Revolution Ultra Pro HD Powder Contour in the shade Fair. So I I think I maybe should have gone for medium. I'm not sure, I haven't used this yet, I wanted to save it. But it basically looks like this. It looks absolutely amazing. There's no way that you'd think this was like a really kind of like affordable product. So you've got like a highlighter here, you've got like a banana setting powder down here, you've got all the different like contour shades down here, which I really like. Some of them are kind of ashy colors, some of them are more darker bronzy colors. I have swatched them here, but I haven't actually used them. So I'm really excited to give those a go. And you've got like more of a tan colour. I don't really know what I'd use that for to be honest. I don't know. But I thought this looked really, really cute. And yeah, like I said, this is in the shade Fair. This one was £8, which I think is pretty reasonable for a contour palette as well. Considering you get eight different powders in here and you're paying £8. I then have this Barry M lip kit. This is the Matt Me Up lip kit in the shade Posy. This lip kit comes with both a lip liner and a liquid lip. And I love them. I have been using them quite a lot. And it's only £6.99 for two lip products, that's absolutely insane. So the lip liner, the packaging kind of looks very MAC inspired and then the liquid lip looks like this. I'm just gonna swatch it for you guys. So here we've got both the lip liner and the liquid lip swatch. It's to die for. So yeah, the liquid lipstick lasts really, really well on the lips. It doesn't dry horribly, it lasts for a really long time. The color is absolutely stunning. It's like the most perfect nude and the lip liner really kind of helps. I feel like to keep it staying in place and stop it from kind of like staining and straying. I love it and it's only $6.99 so Superdrug and Barry M, you did be good. So next up I've got these two kind of priming waters or fixing waters from Makeup Revolution. So this is the Pro Prime Aqua Priming Base. I've only used this once but I absolutely loved it. It's so hydrating and refreshing on the skin. I love anything kind of like water based for my skin because my skin is super dehydrated. So one of these was £5 and the other one was £6 I believe. I don't know which one was which. Um, and the Pro Fix is the Oil Control Fixing Spray. So my face is more dry than it is oily, but at certain kind of times I get oily kind of in the T-zone area. So this is really nice to kind of spray on and solve that problem. I mean, I haven't actually tried it, but I'm guessing it's kind of nice for that issue. I then have this coconut oil for hair and skin. I don't know how much this was because I got this separately, like a completely different occasion. I can't find the receipt. It's a super drug own brand one, so I can't imagine it was too much money. And I haven't tried this yet because I tried to save most of these things after this haul but I think this would be really great to kind of apply to my hair and stuff like that because I feel like it's just been looking like really dry and dull recently and with nails I don't know I get acrylics but I'm kind of feeling like the good thing to do would be to get rid of acrylics for a little bit because they just ruin your nails you guys I'm honestly shook I'm shook this I heart makeup chocolate orange palette oh god probably shouldn't have whacked it this palette I have been wanting this for the longest time. I've seen it on so many people's like Instagram stories and makeup tutorials and stuff. I Heart Makeup came through. They actually came through and I am just... 
honestly the shades in here are insane they're super warm toned there's quite a few matte shades there's some light shimmer shades as well the shades chocolate orange and peel are amazing like i don't know what that was they're amazing i did use a few shades the other day they are pigmented and they last for such a long time they blend like a dream so this palette is absolutely stunning it's 8.99 so that's pretty good for an eyeshadow palette that has that many kind of shades and options and yeah i'm just in love i got a couple of new pairs of eyelashes i'm always on the lookout for new eyelashes my friend actually recommended me these um, Superdrug Own eyelashes. These are the Natural Edition number 14 ones. I'm wearing them today and I love them because they just add a little bit of volume, a little bit of length, but they're not too over the top and they're really easy to apply. And these were like $2.49, I believe. If I miss out the prices of anything, they'll be in the description box. I don't know how many uses you can get out of them because this is the first time I've put them on. I normally only use my lashes once, to be fair. And then I also got some of my other favourites. These are the Ardell Demi Baby Demi USBs. Love them. Again, they're super easy to apply really like quite natural looking but they add a little bit of volume and length and I'd really recommend them to anyone that's kind of maybe just starting out experimenting with eyelashes or something because they're fab. So also from I Heart Makeup I got the Blushing Hearts Triple Baked Blusher in the shade Iced Hearts. So it comes in this really cute little heart shaped box. This is very like Too Faced inspired I believe and we've got this going on this little situation. So I love Too Faced makeup and I feel like this is a really good dupe for it. I'm not gonna lie this is a little bit chalky, like it's a really nice kind of glowy blush. So I think that's obviously really, really cute for springtime and things like that. But obviously Too Faced are like better quality. But yeah, I love this one. This is really cute. And this was $4.99. Right, so I then got something I wanted to try out for the longest time. This is the Nip and Fab Dragon's Blood Fix Plumping Serum. So I actually got this in Superdrug. I was going to buy it in Boots because I went in Boots before. And it's actually, I think, about three or four pounds cheaper in Superdrug. But yeah, I can't wait to try this one. So it says it's got like hyaluronic acid in there. Oh, it's got velvet flower, which enhances moisturization. And it's got dragon's blood, which comforts and restores through skin hydration. This is $19.95 in Superdrug, which is quite pricey, but it's skincare. So I feel like it's worth it. Also talking about skincare, I got some of the Nivea 3-in-1 Cleansing Wipes. These are the ones for dry skin. I love Nivea wipes so much. I picked several of these up. I think I got like three. I then got the Makeup Revolution Ultra Cream Contour. So I know I got the powder one, but I really wanted the cream one as well. I haven't cream contoured in a while. I mean, I use um, the LA Girl Pro Concealer, which is a cream contour. It's just in a tube, but... Yeah, I feel like I haven't used a cream contour palette in a hot minute. And it just looks like this. You've got like the banana shade, you've got the more bronzy contoury shades down here. I really like the look at this one. And I've seen, again, quite a few people use this in their videos. So I'm hoping that it's not going to disappoint me. So I then got the Batiste Dry Shampoo. This is the Pretty and Delicate Rose Gold one. Oh my god. I know this is literally just a dry shampoo, but its packaging is insane. It is so cute. But it's basically just got rose gold roses on there. Do you know what? My hair needs a bit of volume right now, actually. So I nearly forgot that this little gem was in the bottom of the Superdrug bag. This is the Barry M Holographic Lip Topper in the shade Spellbound. It looks absolutely amazing over like nude lipsticks and stuff. Basically, if you can't really afford the higher end ones, these are a really, really good dupe. And they've got several different shades. You've got like coloured ones as well. They come in like pink, purple, etc. But I thought I'd go for this kind of like white, creamy, clear one because I'm not too adventurous when, when it comes to lip colours, not gonna lie. But yeah, this is so cute over the top of a nude lipstick and it's only $4.99. So this is the Vaseline Intensive Care Essential Healing Moisturiser. I love using this before I fake tan. So I apply it and then like 15, 20 minutes later, I'll apply my Bondi Sands over the top. It does actually say on the bottle that you shouldn't moisturise beforehand, but I know loads of people that do. And personally, if I didn't moisturise before fake tan, it would be clinging to the dry patches. So yeah, I just leave it for like 15, 20 minutes, but it absorbs really, really quickly and it's perfect for dehydrated skin. So this was 2 dollars And then have this Garnier Skin Active Moisture Balm Tissue Mask. I think it's got like pomegranate seeds or something in here. I can't wait to give this one a go. I've then got some Garnier Skin Active Micellar Cleansing Water. I like to use this after my makeup wipes just to really like refresh my face and make sure that everything is off. So this I'm really excited to try. This is the L'Oreal El Viv Dream Lengths No Haircut Cream. And this is kind of like a leave-in heat protectant cream. I can't wait to give this one a go. I've seen again loads of people with this on their Instagram stories and stuff. And it smells really good. 
yeah, that smells so good. I love L'Oreal products as well. I like really trust them with their hair products. This is also from the I Heart makeup range. This is the Golden Goddess Triple Baked Highlighter. And again, it comes in this Too Faced-esque packaging. And it just looks like this on the eye on the inside it's a super golden highlight i only really like golden highlights when i've got a bit of a tan or when i've really bronzed my face up so i feel like this won't really get used until summertime but when it does get used i'm sure it will be bomb and then the last things from superdrug are these deodorants these are the mitchum advanced control powder fresh ones honestly would not use anything else then last but not least from superdrug this is the gillette satin care with a touch of Olay shaving cream, girls. This stuff helps protect against like shaving cuts, makes your legs extra smooth, adds a bit of moisture into them. Living for it. I love this stuff, swear by it. So yeah, that's the last thing that I got from Superdry. So we're now gonna move on to some of the things that I got from Boots. The first thing is this, the Rush Hour. Get it, Rush Shower Hour. The Rush Hour Sensational, Sensational get it dry shampoo this was four pounds so i mean i don't know it's quite expensive for a dry shampoo but whatever i then got some of the isla um volume 101 eyelashes so these are the lightweight and reusable ones so also from soap and glory i've got the sugar crush body scrub this has been like an og cult favorite of mine for the longest time i love using this before i kind of fake tan so scrubbing off all the old excess tan so i'm gonna have to use this later on this smells amazing and you get so much product in one tub and it lasts the longest time this is eight pound which again is i don't know average price for a body scrub but i really really like this one i've then got the lee stafford argan oil from morocco miracle heat defense spray i love using this before i kind of put any heat on my hair so before i straighten my hair before i curl my hair i would spray this also on the topic of hair products i've got the lee stafford bleach blonde shampoo and conditioner this really helps to just kind of lighten your hair and stop it looking brassy i haven't had this in a long time so that needs to get on my skull like up rocky like i then picked up three of my favorite foundations these are the bourgeois healthy mix and shade 54 beige i've already got a new one open so that's why there's two so these are usually 9.99 each which is an amazing price for such an amazing foundation but they were 6.99 each this time i then got the la roche posay innovation effort duo moisturizer so it's 16 pounds which for drugstore skincare is quite pricey but for skincare in general it's pretty good and you only need the tiniest amount so it lasts for a really long time then got some kleenex tissues i think that is the end of today's video so i think that's everything that i spent all my coins on 200 of them and i've got a box of kleenex tissues to show for it so no like i am joking like i got some really really good products there some that i've never tried before which i'm super excited to try so i feel like it was money well spent to be honest so i really hope you did enjoy this video maybe it's kind of inspired you to go out and also spend a lot of your own money um but no there are some really great like new makeup releases out at the moment so defo go and check those out so guys thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe down below if you are new here because i'd love to have you here and all my social medias are left in the description box down below as always really really active on both twitter and instagram so i definitely recommend that you go and follow me over there plug plug um so yeah thank you for watching and i will see you in my next video